I actually had most of the girls from Selling Sunset, and I haven't had you, so I'm really excited. I'm just saving um, the best for last. That's what I, I know. I know. Legit. Okay. So Tarek El Musa just said it right. Saving the best for last. I have like America's sweetest couple, uh, Tarek El Musa and Heather Ray Young. Thank you for coming on. Oh, yay. Thank Thanks you. for having us. Why are you guys shining and like you look so? Do you have like a skin smoother on Zoom or something? Well, no, I've been, I've been filming all day, so I'm wearing a whole bunch of makeup. So, you know, I'm cheating a little bit. She's just naturally beautiful. It takes me a lot more work. Thanks, honey. I was telling, I was like, well, I've worn a hat all day and, and like casuals. I'm like, okay, I'm doing it like this. Am I, do I look okay? <laughs> She's the cutest. She actually comes to work with me like in the morning. She packs my lunch. She, puts me in the sprinter. She drives to work with me. We spend the day together. <laughs> That's so, so cute. I was going to ask actually, because what were you on for people that don't know you, Tarek, you're like a HGTV star. Yeah. 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 So I, I have a show on uh, HGTV. It's called flip or flop. I've done nine seasons uh, and I have another show on HGTV called flipping 101 and I'm currently filming season two. Wait, nine seasons? Is that nine years of- Yeah, of nine time? long. You're talking about marriages, divorces, babies, cancers, you name it, we did it. <laughs> no, so that's good. So, but so you, were you like a, a flipping houses connoisseur? Because now everyone's doing it. Scott you Disick's know, I, I, doing I it. Started, I kind of started a trend back in 2010. You know, I had this wild idea to flip houses on TV before I ever flipped a house. And yeah. I pitched it, I found a house and I put it together. And here we are nine seasons later, 600 houses later. And wait, so we you were doing you. real estate, but you weren't flipping houses. And then you were like, wait, let me do this. And you pitched it. And that sounds like one of those it, stories it, that don't make sense. Backwards. It's all backwards. <laughs> it, was, it was a crazy thing to do. No, everybody said I wouldn't pull it off. <clears throat> and now he's like the number one house flipper in, in the world, probably. Oh. <laughs> That's amazing. And then you meet Heather. And so you're both like, would you be like reality stars kind of, I know, right? I know, it's so lame, right? It's, it's so, so, it's so cliche. cliche. Yeah. Two reality TV stars. But here's the best part about it. We didn't meet through TV. We met yeah. on the back of my boat. You're getting to all my questions without oh, me asking. Right, I love that. Get back to it. Okay, I'll shut up. I'll shut up. I'm just saying. No, 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 no. Do it. I love it. So how did you meet? I wanted to ask. Aww. Well, I was working at the Spearmint Rhino one night. And, <laughs> and I was dancing. No, no, I was dancing. What do you mean you were dancing? I was dancing. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay, 4th of July. Uh, I had a, a little party on my boat. Big and, party. And a bunch big, of girls wait, on my boat. is your boat called Bad Decisions or something? What is it called? It is. Bad, Bad Decisions. decisions. <laughs> wow. <laughs> why? She's what? the queen of bad decisions now. I am. And we've made good decisions on bad <laughs> so decisions. So I was on my boat having a little party, and she knew one of the girls on my boat, and she, she hopped over, and I saw her, and I, like, stopped mid-sentence. I walked right to her. I'm like, who are you? Hi, I'm Tarek El Musa. She's like... I know you. And I'm like, yes, TV finally paid off. Then she goes, I know you because you already asked me out. Then I said, shit, what did I do? Give me a second. So I had to go back and look at the Instagram account. He DM'd me. Like I turned around. Wait, was this before Selling Sunset was ever out? Years ago. This was like right before I filmed the pilot for Selling Sunset, actually. And I was living in another country with my ex-boyfriend. And so I, oh, I remember you're giving was, me flashbacks to season one where you had a long one. distance yeah, thing. I, mean, I was single and I, you know, I was just randomly every now and then I'd check my Instagram feed and now I saw and her one day. Every and, now and then. And here we are. So, <laughs> so anyway, she's like, you already asked me out. I was like, oh shit. So I turned around and I look at my phone and I'm like, I did. What was her response? She's like, oh, I have a boyfriend. So I look back. I'm like, you still have that boyfriend? She's like, nope. And I'm like, phone in pocket. <laughs> I'm like, all right, you want to go to Paris? She looks at me. No. no. I'm like, okay, you want to go to Vegas? She goes, no. no. I'm like, you want to go to dinner? She goes, maybe. Yeah. So I was Wait, like, okay. can I know you just meet her and you're inviting her to Paris? Like, why did I'm like regretting marrying my husband now? Well, I'm, like, I'm just why saying, I, what the hell? The, if we're doing the first date in Paris, there's like a 99% chance we're going to be sharing a hotel room, right? So I was like, oh, you know. so okay, it's calculated. Okay. No, but uh, we need to go I'm back. We need to go back. We need to go back. I loved her. I loved her. <laughs> I think you her the sweet part. When you saw me, how you felt. Oh, the sweet part? So right <laughs> after I got her phone number, she went back on the boat. No, the sweet Hold part. Hold on. So right after I got her phone number, she gets back on the boat she came from. And then I look over and there's another dude talking to my girl. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> I look over and she's laughing. I'm like, oh, oh, this is, screw this shit. So I start laying on the horn of my boat and it's super loud. And they both jump and he looks at me and I go like this. I go, she's mine. And he goes like this, he waves and he walks off. And I went oh back. my God. 
<laughs> Wait, Heather, can we talk about like boat hopping and how not relatable that is? <laughs> because I, like, I remember when you were telling the story on the show and you were like, and I didn't get it. I'm from New York, but you were like, you were like, yeah, and we were on this boat and I hopped onto his boat and I was like, wait, who, boat hopping? Like, is yeah, that a thing I should know about? <laughs> we were parked at this place called Woody's here in Newport Beach and I was living in LA at the time. So I, I never came down in Newport. It was very, very rare that I came down that day. And it's very rare that the boats we were on were parked next to each other. So I was that day. I was like, you know, I'm single. I'm like drinking champagne. So I was, I was boat hopping. I was like seeing different friends, like jumping Oh, so around. they're parked so you can walk like on the thing on the yeah. whatever it's called yeah. and then you get so you just got on his boat. oh you knew someone that yeah. was on so your I, boat so I was on my the boat I was on and I was like with my girlfriend and we look over and she goes oh there's our friend Amber and I was like Amber and I was like yelling down to her and she's like come here so I just happened to like jump on his boat and then I just I remember him like turning and like or like looking at me and coming like straight to me and like hi I'm Tarek I'm like hi <laughs> I didn't say it creepy like that. Yeah, you're like, hi, I'm Tarek. <laughs> Wait, maybe a little bit. Were you, I'm Heather, like seriously, though, were you, were you were you turned on by him right away? Or were you like, who's this creep that, like, slid into my DMs? You know, obviously, I did know who he was from the show. But I, I had dated a lot of assholes before him. And I was just dealing with a couple situations that I was just really not in a super good place at that moment. And... So I was just like, oh, just another douchebag, another guy on TV, like with a boat with a bunch of girls yeah. on it, you know. I, I mean, like, yeah, that is kind of douchey to T B H. Oh, so cliche, so cliche, you know. And and so I was like, I was actually like really scared of him, like in a way. Like I was scared to like be vulnerable and go on a first date because I just figured it was not gonna go anywhere. So I you were saying you were vulnerable about going out with him, but so then I wanted to know if when he said the first date would be a plane right away, were you more down with it? No, I was like, no, absolutely not. I'm not going to spend the night with you. Like, that was like my reaction. That is, that is douche move number two. Douche move number one, <laughs> a boat with a bunch of chicks. Hey, and then I, you- I, I'm just saying, I might be a douche move, but it works. It worked. And now you're like the cutest Instagram boyfriend. Oh. Well, there you go. <laughs> I love it. But you know, like really, he, he exceeded all the expectations. He's the most incredible man in the whole world. He is loyal, he is kind, he has the biggest heart. So everything that I thought of in that first moment of like being scared and vulnerable and like, oh, he's just another douchebag. He's completely opposite than any guy I've ever dated or met. He's, and I knew that on our first well, Yeah, date. but that, that's the life I was living. I was living a douchebag life. Like I was yeah. single, I had money, I'm on TV, I had a boat, like that was my life. Well, and that's why like- So it, I played the part. It took a little bit longer for us to go on our first date. Not very long, but I did cancel our first she, date. She did cancel. And then this is how I got that. I just sent her a text. I said, listen, I'm different than you think. I think it's worth giving it a shot. Something like that, yeah. right? So you were really into her. Were you really into her because she's so pretty or because you had like a feeling that she- that she's like white feeling. material. It was just yeah. a feeling. Like the second I saw her, my stomach started turning and had all those weird emotions going on. And and it was even more special. I'm telling your story. And she has dimples and that I just like dimples. adds to it. Yeah. He saw those dimples too. But you know, he, he was not planning on ever like meeting anyone or getting married again or being in like a serious relationship. So I think when those feelings hit him, he was like, wow, like, okay, what is this? Because he hadn't experienced that in so long, so. How long was it since your divorce? Uh, I was single, like, totally single for four and a half years. For four and a half. And, and how many kids do you have? Two kids, five years old and 10 years old. And you're like, I remember when you said on the show, Heather, you were like, I'm like a, you didn't say single mom, but you were like oh, relating mom. to a man's or something, but you really took on the role of like stepmom right yeah. like even, even more now i mean we've been together well, now it's full blown yeah, like stepmom life full like blown, she's yeah. making lunches taking kids to school doing homework all yeah. this stuff yeah i do everything i and um, well, i do something <laughs> he's really he's super hands-on too and anything i ask him for help he's like right there to help me so she's lying no that's and lying. then you have like two kids already so i feel like that's it, it it puts you ahead of the game you're like i already have like two kids and now yeah, it's like the movie Instant Family. <laughs> That's true. Oh, I, got I love it. that movie. Oh, I haven't seen that movie. It's a good one. You fell asleep. Like she oh my god. Oh, was it on the plane? Play I watched it on the plane. I sobbed my I eyes. Want, I just want want you to know this. It doesn't matter what we're watching. 
she's going to fall asleep and she's going to make me rewatch <laughs> it the next day and she's going to fall asleep again. I'm not a, I'm not a night person. I'm a morning person. Okay. So maybe because yeah, you're hard. drinking water for lunch, Heather. <laughs> yeah. Did you get a lot of everyone? It was very, it was a memeable moment, right? The drinking water for lunch thing. I'll have water. Thank you. Remember? Yeah. Low, low carb water. Oh, also, um, I'm vegan. Did you not know that? Right. I know that. I know that. I know that. <laughs> right. So they're, right. So that's, is it, you're passionate about animals or is it like a diet thing? It's, I mean, it's multiple things. Like for me, I can't imagine eating something that was alive, to be honest. Um, yeah. And I started it, you know, I was, it was 11 years ago. It was before it was like, you know, cool to be vegan, but um, I started it for health reasons for my stomach. I was having stomach issues. So I started cutting out mm. dairy and then I slowly just started cutting everything else out and I don't miss it at all. Like yeah. I, I love my, the fresh food I eat and I, you know, I'll have vegan burgers. I'll have vegan bacon, things like that. But besides that, I don't miss meat. I don't miss it. Are, Tarek, is she turning you on the vegan lifestyle? No, no, no. She tried when we first met and I, I went down to like 107 pounds. <laughs> So it didn't work. No, you didn't. I, I started starving myself because I didn't know what to eat. So yeah. I'm like, hey, everybody, I'm a vegan now. And I, now I don't know what to eat. So I just started starving myself. And then the only times I would eat was when she fed me. So I was <laughs> eating she like- would make what? you mushroom burgers and- Yeah, and stuff like that. So I'm eating like once a day. <laughs> I was like withering away. So no, I'm back on the- on, on the, on the uh, we do a mix. Carnivore side. We do a mix. I'll do like a vegan sausage and then I'll do a real egg for him with veggies. Um, I'll do a burrito for him. But so I'll mix it in, but he's not full vegan. Let, let's just be real here. She makes me take a bunch of vitamins now. She makes me eat healthy. She makes me go to the gym. So I'm the healthiest I've ever been because. No, of this you look, program. you look really healthy. Wait, what's, you're, are you in your 40s yet, Tarek? Uh, yeah, I'm 39. I'm going to be 40 next year. Yay. Is he lying, Heather? No, no. he's thirty nine. So we. Oh, really? Oh my yeah. God! The big four. Oh, that's exciting! Yeah, and you've been through so much. I know, right? You're telling me. I'm, oh I'm my looking God. forward to the rest of my life. Trust me. Wait. So the engagement was so cute. I saw some video documentation of it. What is the wedding being planned? Is there anything you can yeah. share? Yeah, we're, we're in planning mode. Um, we picked a location. We can't share that. We also picked a date. We can't share that. Yeah. So no fun. But we are getting married. <laughs> we are getting married. Um, we're doing our guest list. Hopefully this week we're having a hard time because I don't know. I think we're, we're nervous. How many people are you going to invite? We're planning on a small wedding. Well, this is why we're putting What is on. considered small? Like for us is like 120 is small, right? Okay. So yeah. You know, I'm a little nervous to start adding up the names. So we yeah. haven't started yet because I keep pushing it off. Because right. I'm worried it's going to end up at like a thousand. Wait, right. Heather, are all the cast members going to be invited? Ask my fiance. <laughs> Tarek? <laughs> well, most of them. Well, uh, most most, of wait, them. wait. I need to ask Tarek because I was watching um, Selling Sunset the, the last season. And like the, w when Brett tries to flirt with Heather... <laughs> Does it annoy you? Did Brett try to flirt with Heather? What? When they, a bunch of times. No. Brett, I know Brett. He, I know Brett. He's a good dude. Plus, if he touches her, I'll break him in half. That's no. <laughs> I'm just being real here. You know, I think a lot of people mistake it for flirting or whatever. But and you know, people think he has a crush on me, and maybe he did in the past. But like, he yeah. adores. Well, I don't blame that he has a crush on. Her. I got a crush on him. <laughs> yeah. He, he can flirt a little bit. He honestly like what? He loves and respects Tarek so much. Like, and I think in the past, he never respected any of my boyfriends. And, and Jason and Brett are protective of me and the girls. Like, I've known them for seven years of my life. Like, they've seen my ups, my downs. They've seen my relationships. And they've never really been happy for me until now. Yeah, Jason, really? They're, they're, really, they're really good dudes. Like, you know, I mean, they're watching stuff they filmed a year ago. Like, I barely knew them. We're like homies now. We hang out. We go boating. They're great guys. And when we, when that, when, you know, I know what scene you're talking about, like, that was actually, there was so much more to that scene. Like it was such an actually deep, deeper scene. And we talked deep. When about you were wearing all red, are you talking about? I don't remember actually. I don't remember. Uh, oh no. That's when we were talking about his girl that he was dating. But... Right, right, right. And he, yeah, 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 yeah. I know what you you're know, talking about. Some, some, some scenes, they obviously, you know, choose certain things, or, but you know, we film hours and hours and some yeah. scenes are so long and they are deeper. Like we talked Brett and I have been friends for seven years, so we do have a closer friendship, but um, yeah, there's a lot that they didn't show in that scene. <laughs> Heather, how the hell did you go from being, did you get a Playboy of the, Playmate of the Year award? 
No, I was Playmate of the Month, so I was Miss February 2010. How yeah. did you go from that to real estate? It was actually it's like, a natural transition. Was, <laughs> I was actually like truly about to say that. Um, it was a natural transition because I, I met so many people in the industry and I, you know, I'm a really social person. I'm a very social butterfly. So this coronavirus thing is killing me because we haven't been able to be very social and it, it's, it's been really hard on me, but, um, you know, I was ready to start something different and go from modeling. Cause I did a lot of other things besides playboy. I was, I did a lot of modeling campaigns and, um, traveled around the world. So it, it was like a good transition for me because I knew people in the industry, like in real estate. And I, I was so connected. And so like, I did my first real big, like, big real estate deal within three months of having my license. So that kind of like kept my confidence going. And then I met Jason not too long after that, when I was showing him a, uh, showing a celebrity client a home and Jason was like, wow, who's this girl? So then we met and I ended up joining the Oppenheim group. Like I think a couple weeks later. So That's it was crazy. An easy I think it's hard for people to like believe and wrap their head around the fact that the Oppenheim group is an actual, you know, agency and all you beautiful model looking girls are actual agents that are selling actual homes that you took. It's just hard because I mean, they're geniuses, Brett and Jason, really for, for doing yeah. it that yeah, way. Even before the show, we laughed about that as we're a very close group. Like we go to dinners together, lunches together, you know, coffee every day. And, and so we are like laughing about that even like before the show was even thought of like Jason and Brett have all hot girls in the office with fake boobs. Like, it's like, really, can you surround yourself with like anyone else? <laughs> that's crazy. But I mean, it works and you girls are smart and you, and you sell homes. So that's what, what matters the most. So you're saying there might not be someone from the cast invited to the wedding then. We'll see who I'm talking to and not talking to at that point. <laughs> but right now it seems like you all seem very friendly on Instagram at least. Yeah, we are. We are. And like, there's others that I'm like, obviously closer to that I'm not, but I So mean, who are you closest to? I'm close with Mary, Jason, Brett, and Chriselle. I see. Okay. So I want to tell you something. I had Christine on the podcast and I, um, I, I mentioned then, I think she had like 500,000 followers at that point. I just have to tell you, cause I'm like honest person. I feel like there's a little bit of an Instagram war going on between the girls of Selling Sunset. I feel like- I hate, you, I hate to tell you, there's an Instagram war going on with every girl on Instagram. <laughs> That's like true. Every girl. No, you're right. I know, it is true, but there was something, first of all, it's a Netflix show. Like, I love Bravo too. And like, Bravo is so niche that the girl, like women that are on the show for years barely make a million followers, you know? And Netflix is crazy. Like I have friends in Israel watching the show. People from all over the world are watching the show. So it's not surprising that you're all like exploding, but you had a following before, right? Yeah, yeah I had a following from modeling and Playboy. Mm -hmm. So I, you were like leading the charts. I don't know who's leading the charts right now, but you were, I think maybe you're still, Michelle. Michelle. I, oh. You know, like, and I think Chriselle had a little bit of a following too, but you know, right. my followers were all male followers. So I've switched my following to mainly all women, which is a big accomplishment for me because it went from being like all male followers to now having such an amazing- What you saw in the insights, like how, like that, uh, the percentage oh, yeah. of male- It was like 90% male following. Now it's like 20%. Yeah. So No way. How, how did it do that? How did it I do that? You know, I mean, he has a lot of female followers and I think just- Yeah, when we got together, a lot of my followers started following Heather and, you know, we help each other. We grew together. And I think from the show and like before the show, you know, I didn't have, I had modeling, I had Playboy. I didn't have, you know, everything else that I have now. So I think the fan base has just changed. And I the really love it because I, I relate obviously so much more to women and it's fun to be able to like share what I want, I wear and, you know, the makeup I use and, and people want to know like my health and my fitness. And yeah. And I love being able to show people like my, into my lifestyle and, um, it's been really fun. So I love having female followers. I yeah. Well, good for you <laughs> that you managed to switch it. And I'm sure Tarek is happy about that too. Yes. Oh, mine, yeah. are all, mine are all female too. I want more male. <laughs> wait, I'm like, yours... guys, follow me. I'm not that Stop. bad. Wait, yours are mostly female? Women. I'm 75% women. I'm like, we're no. all the guys now. Are you serious? Yeah. Yeah. Wait, yeah. that's so cute. I can't. 
Oh, I forgot That's to so mention my, You should I'm start so selling like Fat Fit Fun boxes to women I'm, and, and yeah, like, like makeup, you know? Whatever it is, I'll post it. Let's do it. I forgot to mention my Maya. Maya and I were like really close oh. as well. Like Maya, you know, she's a mom of two. She's in Florida right now. I'm, you know, full-blown stepmom and uh, taking care of another child here. But so I talked to Maya still, like, but not as much as we used to, but we're still always close. I love about you and Maya and I had her on the, I'm Israeli too. So I love that Maya's Israeli and she has her little um, sayings and, and she's so funny. She was on my podcast and she was like, she's like, I'm boring. Like the other girls create drama. I'm not, but what I love about you and Maya is that you managed to be on the show, do so well, you know, be like loved by everyone and you don't get into shit. You know what I mean? Like, I'm, and that's really great because then you don't have to get into shit for good. You know what I mean? Like you manage to, to, to get out of it, kind of like clean on, on all ends where other cast members, you know, have to create more drama and, and get into, so how do you, how do you navigate that? I think, you know, I'm, I'm a pretty neutral person where I like to listen to everyone's opinions and I like to, I'm, I'm empathetic to other people. So I don't just react without thinking um, unless like I really am firm about something, as you saw a couple times in season uh, two and three, I spoke my mind when it was needed. But, you know, I definitely, I think I look back and there were certain times where I wish I would have said something and stuck up for maybe Chriselle in certain moments or stuck mm -hmm. up for other people in certain moments that I didn't. And I did stay more neutral. So I think I'm learning, you know, when I should speak up and when I shouldn't. So, you know, it's just, it, it's hard to watch yourself on TV. You're like, oh, I should have said something or I should have done yeah. that. And um, but you know, I can't take anything back. I can just learn from it and move forward. So from the people you mentioned, it seems like you're close with everyone, but Christine, am I onto something? <laughs> Honey. Is that everybody? Uh, oh, Davina. Davina and I touch base too. I mean, honestly, like coronavirus has changed a lot of dynamics right. for, for my relationships in general. And, you know, with my cast members and with the people I work with, um, you know, I haven't seen anyone. I mean, I see Jason occasionally. He's coming down. He's actually coming over this evening. Um, I've seen Mary. We, you know, we see each other every so often, but it's, it's just been such a different vibe the last like eight months. So yeah. I haven't seen Christine really has a big mouth. She said some shitty things about us. Yeah. Really? And, and that's about it. We're not really interested in dealing with her nonsense. But I didn't, but Tark, I don't remember that she said shitty things. I didn't, what did yeah, she say? She, did. she she called it, what did she call this? Spidey. Spidey. Listen, just because she's never been famous before and she doesn't know how it works, she, does, she doesn't have to talk. It just makes her look stupid. Oh, she said so she was trying to claim that, you know, we're out there calling paparazzi on ourselves. Like, I'm sorry, I've been on TV. First for of all, years. she was calling paparazzi on yeah, herself on that yeah. boat at the, the Daily Mail picture or something. I remember I, I got, I posted and so many of my followers were like, how did paparazzi get to her boat in like Croatia or wherever yeah, the fuck she exactly, was? Exactly, so anyways, so just a few rude comments that, you know, I just didn't want to, I she's see. telling me to shut up right now, but it's fine, there's no bad blood, it's just I don't deal with Listen, the Listen, Tariq, at the end of the day, she, if this, you know, if this comes, she'll enjoy it, she won't get mad, because I, I could sense fine. that that's, uh, well, um, no bad blood. I just, yeah. you know, I don't appreciate, you know, shitty things said about me and her. Yeah, you know, there was just a couple things that she said, and this was, like, a while ago now, so, like, we're fine. But, and, you yeah, know, Spidey, we'll like, Heidi, Heidi and Spencer. Yeah, basically, like, yeah, saying, like, that, come on, get the hell saying that we are, like, calling paparazzi, and, and like, like oh. I tried to explain to her, it's like, like no, you know, said, there's no explaining it. She, she, she's never been on TV. She doesn't know, or she didn't know how it works, and she opened her mouth. And at the end, she looks stupid, not us, because I've been on TV for 10 years. I've been through a public divorce. I couldn't get away from the paparazzi. Yeah. yeah. So, you of know? course, people are interested in our lives. Like, he, he hadn't been with another, you know, woman in four and a half years. Of course, they're going to be interested in another reality star dating a, a reality star. Yeah, but, but it's not like there's, like, a bad blood or there's this beef or anything. Yeah. I'm just, I'm just... Yeah, we just don't we really just talk away. that much. Yeah, yeah. I see. Like, Heather, are you going to be Heather Ray Young El Musa? I'm going to be Heather Ray El Musa. I'm going to drop my last name. Yeah. Wait, Ray is a, was a, is a middle name? Ray is a middle name. Yeah. I see. You're going to drop Young. Wow. That's a big deal. Well, you know Heather that it's like El so Musa, much like paperwork. Heather Ray El Musa. That's four. I think it was four syllables, yeah. four words. It might just be Heather El Musa. I we'll don't know. See. We don't know yet. Yeah. Wait, Tarek, what's your ethnicity? Like, where are you from? Or like, what's that last name? I'm half Middle Eastern and I'm half Belgian. So my dad, Lebanese and Egyptian. So it's a Middle Eastern name. Oh, yeah. It's very it. like, you sound like a sheikh. What's it called? <laughs> like those, uh, you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> I look like one too. <laughs> I'm we excited to see Miss El Musa. I love no, it. No, it'll sound so good. 
I saw you tried on a Galia Lahav dress too, like Christine uh-huh. had. What's yeah. your deal with, she's also Israeli. What's the deal with the, how do you, how are you girls connected to, to her? Well, yeah, so I ended up um, choosing Galia, which I'm really excited. And she's doing my wedding gown and also my rehearsal dinner dress, which he chose. And you hey, wait, wait. About this now. I've been yeah. quiet this whole no, time. We can talk about oh, it. Wait, you, cho- you chose with one, not my one. wedding dress, my, oh. my rehearsal dinner dress. Yeah. But Blindly? Have- like he chose it and he's like, this is what you're wearing. And you were like, okay. No, I gave, no. I gave him like five different ones. And that the day I went, I, you know, tried a bunch on, I did like cute little videos. And then I was thinking like, should I let him choose or should I surprise him? And then I think I asked him, um, do you want to choose my rehearsal dinner dress? At first he said no. And then I'm like, well, it's not the wedding dress. And, and he's like, is it anything like the wedding dress? I said, no. So he's like, okay, let me look. So he chose like my favorite one. And um, yeah. It's Wait, cute. you guys are talking about it. I know you're not saying date, but you're, you're talking about it as if it's like sooner rather than later, or is it? No. Okay. No. So there yeah. is time. So I, I can tell you, we are actually going to do it earlier next year. Um, and we just felt like you know, we're we're remodeling a house right now. Like we have so much going on. He's filming two shows. We have the kids and there's just a lot going on. So we decided to push it. So we have, we have some time, but it will be next year. Okay. And Tark, are you going to selling sunset? I'm sure it's going to be back for the fourth season. Are you going to make cameos? Um, well, if it does come back, I do think there's a good chance I will. So we're going to have to wait and find out. Mm-hmm. We're working on things. Hopefully, See, he's good at it. TV. He knows what to say. He keeps yeah, everyone interested. Well, I get to film <laughs> with him on his show, which is really nice. And we have so much fun filming together. So I would love if he could film with me. Yeah. yeah we'll make it what, what do you do on his show, Heather? Looks cute. <laughs> <laughs> with me. Oh, when she's with me or when she's filming? When I'm filming. When she's oh, filming. When she's work with me every day. <laughs> Um, you come to work with him a lot? A yeah. lot, yeah. Because, you know, we're so busy, so days that I can go, it's nice. Cause I sit in the Sprinter. We have Wi-Fi. I get a lot of work done when I'm in the Sprinter because it's like when I'm home, I'm doing other things. I'm busy, and yeah. the sprint, I'm, all, I'm the, always running around. The, so. the Sprinter is a mobile office, yeah. so that's what we, we – cart around in and Mm -hmm. she works back there and waits for me in between scenes I come in we lunch together we hang out Mm -hmm. that's so fun wait how many years is it has it been over a year that you're together already yeah 16 16 months months. Uh oh my god you guys sound like you're talking about a baby that that is (laughs) time flies flies. well I wish you guys all the best you're so cute thank you and you're gonna I'm so excited for your wedding and for your shows and for selling sunset to come back And thank you for coming on and talking to me. Thank you. So much fun. That was fun. Bye. Yeah. Bye, guys.